Here in Sweden, a right-wing government has recently come to power. Ludwig Film has been active in the traditional centre-right party since he was 15 years old. Young people like him have gradually been voting more right-wing, with support growing even for the populist Sweden Democrat Party. So we have a rise in uh, serious criminality in Sweden and uh, a lot of young people are affected by this, which I think is uh, one of the main reasons why people are voting for uh, the right parties and the Sweden Democrats, for example. Uh, and the young people uh, very often have uh, classmates that are active or uh, at least uh, supports the Sweden Democrats. Ludwig's moderate party leads a minority government in coalition with the smaller Christian Democrat and Liberal parties, supported in Parliament by the right-wing populists, the Sweden Democrats. This multi-party cooperation gives the government bloc a slim working majority in Parliament. Among the parliamentarians supporting this new cooperative agreement is Sweden Democrat Daniel Lern, one of the youngest ever members of Parliament. He represents a movement within the party that has led them to a position more acceptable to the Swedish public. Our voter base uh, are a little bit left-leaning, a little bit right-leaning, because there have been people moving from the, uh, the moderate party and also the social democrats, mostly from the social democrats, actually. Uh, so all, all of these people have met in, in the same party because there are something else than economic policies that engages them, and it's the, primarily the immigration, the integration um, and such things. Having been born out of a 1980s neo-fascist movement, the party and its leader, Jimmy Okushon, are still working towards shaking off their far-right reputation. There are still people that uh, despise us, uh, but when you meet people on a personal level and you can connect with them and talk about things, not just what you see in the TV debates when there are big words being casted fast, you can just sit down, grab a coffee and talk about why our political values and your political values are very different. You can also always uh, find a common respect for each other's opinions. According to recent polling, only 4% of Swedes say the new government is doing a good job. The public has mixed views on the inclusion of the Sweden Democrats. I'm actually quite shocked that they are so huge now. They are like the second biggest party in Sweden. I Hopefully the young people will make it not be so huge the next time we, we vote. They've been um, going from being quite, I have to admit, um, maybe extreme party, uh, if you go far back, to uh, become more normalized. Moving out of Stockholm into the neighboring county, this is the traditionally left-leaning university city of Uppsala. The local Sweden Democrat youth organization meets here in City Hall. So, here is the local parliament. This area has seen the party's vote share almost double between 2014 and 2022. And when we are visiting the schools, we usually have our stoppa socialiet, stop the socialism uh, t-shirt. <laughs> and uh, some of you don't have it. Uh, here you have a medium. Do you want them? Large or medium? Emil in the blood, the group's national leader, has come to give a talk on the Tidor Agreement, which sets out the composition and the priorities of the new government. The Sweden Democrats now have to prove that they can deliver on what they say. There is a risk involved in it for us, especially if the voters don't feel like they're getting what we promised they should get now that we are cooperating with three other different parties. Um, but I also think that uh, when uh, all of our proposals you come to the table of parliament, get enacted, uh, when people see results, and especially results with regards to the economic policies that change the uh, income, uh, disposable incomes of households, uh, I think that uh, people will be, uh, our voters will be loyal, and they have proven to be loyal in every election up until now. However, not everyone is convinced. Academic Professor Boreas doesn't think that the Sweden Democrats have really turned a corner with regard to their extremist history. I uh, place them as far right. Uh, uh, when I write about them, uh, I refer to them as a radical right party. I must say I'm deeply concerned uh, of uh, the road Sweden is taken uh, right now, uh, like uh, the TIDU agreement. 
very central part of it is to uh, infringe on uh, uh, migrants' rights and uh, increase the inequalities and differences between natives and uh, migrants. Sweden Democrat Party activists here in Uppsala and across the country are aiming to build on their progress towards social acceptability with a view to one day perhaps fully grasping the reins of power 